Hey, welcome to a slightly different video today. Um, last week, I produced a video where I was seeing whether these RFID blocking pouches for credit cards actually work or if they don't work. And I was using my Proxmark uh, with an HF read, just or an HF search, just to see whether these things did appear to work. And they did genuinely appear to work. I was also looking at card clash as a defense mechanism, and I was using my wallet with lots and lots of different cards in there. And someone in the uh, the comments um, clearly pointed out that the Proxmark on occasion may not be the best device to test with. So, thank you to a very, very good friend of mine who's just sitting slightly off camera. Uh, I now have a Move 5000 in, in, in Gencio uh, a credit card reader, which is a genuine credit card reader connected to a genuine account, uh, which I am going to attempt to see whether we can get this device to read cards even with the uh, credit card blocking pouches in place and to see whether card clash is a problem for this device uh, as it was for my Proxmark. So let's get, recompose the camera and let's bring in closer. We shall put in, I've just put some uh, tape over my Monzo card. I don't think the tape's gonna have any impact on RFID. So we can just try this and you can see it actually picked it up. Connected to WorldPay and I can actually cancel. So I canceled that one, so no transaction went through, but that would, have gone through if I had actually uh, if I had actually um, authorized that to go through. So if I put in another pound, oh, and then press the green button, can you believe this is the first time I've actually used a genuine one of these? So let's stick my Monzo card into one of the little plastic wallets and see whether that prevents my card from being read. And I can clearly say, yes it does. So let's take my Monzo card and put it, before it all times out, next to one of these blackout cards. That also doesn't want to work, and next to one of these Alkios cards. Oh, let's put in one pound again. and have another go. And as you can see, it doesn't work either with any one of these cards. But then I want to try something else, which is what I tried uh, last time. Let's see if I can remove all of this rubbish. So I'm gonna put my Monzo card with the tape on for experimental purposes, <coughs> if it will fit, back in my wallet. So my wallet's here and you can see the tape is on the outside. So let's see whether card clash Let's try it one more time. Let's put in one pound. Yep. Just my bog standard wallet also prevents this from working because this wallet is filled full of cards. And just to prove that that would have worked if I take my card back out again and I have it here and I try it straight on there, you can see it goes straight on and I will press cancel so I don't actually pay a pound to my friend. I probably should pay a pound to my friend because uh, it is actually his card and he's actually um, provided all this lot for me. Okay, so um, very, very quick video just demonstrating with a real credit card as my Lab 401 card doesn't seem to be one to be picked up by the, uh, by the reader, that with a real card, all of the NFC blocking devices work but then so does my bog standard wallet filled full of RFID cards. So it does seem as though card clash does actually work just as effectively of one of these, uh, as one of these blocking wallets. So until next time, remember, please like, subscribe and comment below. And as you can see, I do listen to your comments and I do arrange things to actually happen. If you point out an error in some of the things way we've been testing like you did last time, We'll get another device in and we'll try it out for real. Until next time, have fun, don't hack anything you shouldn't, and play with RFID today.